How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about advanced features in Odin. All right, this is going to be an advanced course talking about Odin and explaining some things to you guys. So, hopefully, this will be helpful for you. Um, so, obviously, here's Odin, right? Okay, so you can launch Odin, and it looks like it's this right here, at least this version of it does. Um, and you can see some things, right? So, you have BL. AP, CP, CSC, UMS. What is this? What does this stuff do, right? What is this all about, right? You have some options here, some pits, um, some different things you can do here, okay? What is all this? How does it function? What do these mean? AP, CP, CSC, and so on. What do you flash in each slot? Things like that. Um, so I'm going to show you some information about this. So here's the program right here. Um, I'm actually going to close it. And I want you to see this right here, the odin3.ini. This is the configuration file for Odin. And the way you can edit it is to have a program called uh, Notepad++, which I think we recommend installing on your workshop PC. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on mine. And you have to edit the one that's right next to the exe file because you could have multiple Odins and multiple uh, configuration files. So if you right click and you can see here, you can say edit with notepad plus plus, or you could do open with and you know select a program, okay? So I'm gonna edit with notepad plus plus, and here is Odin 3, okay? Actually, I'm gonna bring it smaller. All right, so basically what we have in here is you have different things you can configure as you go through this. So I don't know if you've noticed it, I'll bring it back up just so you can see it, so you can see how these things correlate. Um, let's see here, here we go. So right here we have factor reset time equals one. So see right here it says F dot reset time. That equals one means it's got a check in it. Okay, does that make sense? So device info equals zero, right? See that right there? Or actually let me rephrase this. This is just enabling these features. So device info equals zero. So device info right here is not even an option because it equals zero, whereas the factor reset timer equals one does allow it to show. Then you can come over in this section and F reset time equals one is actually gonna check the box. Does that make sense? Okay. So basically you can configure whatever you want in here. The other thing that's interesting to note is on ours right here is that this UMS is grayed out. All right. So if we wanna not gray that out in our Odin, we can come right in here and see right here where it says UMS patch slash patch equals zero and user data equals zero we can go ahead and change these to one okay and then hit save reopen odin and you can see that now ums has now you're now able to put things in it okay Does that makes sense so if we want to change some of these other ones like phone bootloader update or um, maybe device info we want to be able to see it we can do the same thing in here again. We'll come up here to where was device info right here. Make it equal one. Hit save. Reload Odin. And the configuration is now saved and there's device info as a checkable button. So anytime you want to modify the options in here or change them, you can basically do it by the I, uh, INI file in Notepad++. Okay. You can see there's other options in here as well, um, but these are the main ones I want to point out right here, the button options, and then um, these options up here along with the AP options for what is checked, pre-checked for you when you start Odin up. Um, so you can do other things too. See, there's other CP options you can check. So phone boot update, okay. You know, there's different things you can do here and mess with this and really configure these. There's even options. If you look in different Odins, that'll be ver a slight variance of these ones that you can mess with as well. So that is the INI file for Odin 3 that I wanted to discuss. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to discuss these little slots and what is flashed in each of these slots with stock firmware specifically. Okay, so let's kick this out of the way. And this is the stock firmware right here for the G955U. So this would be the S8 Plus, would be that device. Yep, right here, G950 is the firmware. So this is all the firmware that comes when you want to flash stock firmware. This is a T-Mobile variant that I'm, I've got. So you can see my user data is T-Mobile. 
So what you can do is you can use 7-Zip, again a program we recommend here on Phone Lab to get installed on your computer, and you can open it as an archive. So we're going to take AP and open it as an archive, and you can see here that what's contained within AP are these images. Okay, So you have a boot image, a persist image, recovery, and system. So if you're going to flash these images, generally they should be flashed. If you have them extracted and you've created your own custom TARs, they should be flashed in the AP slot. Okay, And we can keep going through this. Here's um, uh, BL, and we can open here. And you can see that this is actually, I, I'll just tell you what these are. So these there's a lot of images here. But basically what you have here is your bootloader. This is all the partitions that make up your bootloader right there. Okay, So that is the BL uh, image. And then we'll continue on here. Um, this is the CP, and these are your modems. Okay, So this is your radios, the uh, cellular and Bluetooth stuff that's on your device. So that's what we've got right here going on in uh, CP. CSC, we'll go ahead and look at that one. Open in Archive. And so here, this is interesting. This is the cache image, and this is the PIT file, which is partitioning your phone during the flash, um, along with another image, OMR. I'm not really sure what that one is, but that's what's contained here in, in the um, CSC. Then you have a home CSC, and I'm going to give you the difference between these as well. And this is just the cache image, okay? So um, the CSC here is the specific T-Mobile CSC, and because it comes with this firmware. And then the home CSC is is basically if you just want to flash it and get rid of some of the T-Mobile like configurations, okay? So then you just flash the home CSC instead of the normal CSC, okay? Then we have user data. And we'll again look at this one, open archive, and here you can see there's another cache image and there's also a user data image, which is, you know, just like if you do wipe data factory reset, this is kicking that. Um, the user data image also here I think contains T-Mobile applications, so that's part of what you're flashing with the user data. Um, and and, and there, that's what there you got there. Now user data, uh, when you look at Odin, is flashed in the UMS or it might say data or user data even, just depending on Odin version. But the rest of these you can see are flashed in their corresponding slots. So besides that, if you're not sure where to flash something in Odin um, and you've downloaded it, generally the default place to flash anything in Odin if you're not sure where it goes is to just flash it in AP. So you'd click AP and you'd flash it in this in this slot right there, AP. Um, so. Hopefully that's explanatory for you, and you guys can do this with any uh, firmware you find, is just go ahead and look at them in uh, 7-Zip, and you should be able to see what's in each little piece and have good a direction as to where to flash them and how to flash them. Um, the last thing I would say about Odin is talking about the PIT file, and it's very important that your PIT file, if you do flash one, that you have the flash, the correct PIT file for your device. If not, uh, if you're not 100% sure that it's the correct PIT file for your device, then do not use this option because it can really mess up your phone. There is some security that tries to prevent that, but in general, um, just make sure you have the PIT file. It's kind of a last resort kind of thing to flash the PIT file. Um, and then you've got all these other options in here, which maybe we'll go through at another video. Um, they're really basic. The basic ones you want is the auto reboot and the F reset timer. Unless you're flashing a recovery, then auto reboot generally you don't want to use. So that's going to be wrapping it up for me, guys, here on Odin Advanced Features, really explaining and understanding what you're flashing in each of the slots and how to modify and edit Odin on the fly. Hope you guys have liked this video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.